Hey everybody, welcome to the Save Sci-Fi Podcast. My name is Grin. So who else we got here? We got David? Woo-hoo! Say hello, David. Oh. Introduce yourselves. Come on, David. Yeah, David. Lou. <laughs> <laughs> and? And I'm Michael. So, welcome to the so podcast. I, yeah, Michael, so, you are the uh, <laughs> the uh, founder of Save Sci-Fi. Yes, I am. Right? And David, you are the head admin, I guess. You, you're the guy that creates most of the content on Facebook. Yeah, I keep the Facebook going and do all the different um, tournaments and voting things and counting and counting and counting and counting. <laughs> and uh, I'm the guy who runs all the tech stuff. And so and business uh, stuff and et cetera. You know, with as much as that, that gets for us. <laughs> But uh, yeah, we're going to have a, a great show about Stargate Atlantis for the 10-year anniversary, but uh, uh, we don't have uh, uh, Rainbow yet. He's uh, currently shooting a commercial and is being delayed. So what we're going to end up doing is we're going to talk about uh, a couple other shows uh, real quick and bring on a different guest. Uh, the one show is a show that uh, Rainbow is on. Uh, called The Listener. It's on CTV, and it is about this uh, um, mortician. I don't know if he's a mortician, but he's a medical guy who uh, can read people's thoughts or something like that, read people's minds. And uh, he's, you know, requested by the police to come help them, help them with their investigations and whatnot. But uh, uh, our guest... For that, also a very special uh, connection here is that this guest is also in one of my favorite shows that I'm really looking forward to uh, watching. It's not even out yet. It's called Nobility. And uh, she is uh, one of the actors on Nobility. So we're going to get her on. Her name is Ellen Dubin. And see if we can get her on, okay? All right. Okay. And EJ is waiting by if we want to bring him on, too. Yeah, I just saw EJ. <laughs> he tried to call. <laughs> okay. uh, she's not answering. Uh-oh. Uh, I was just talking to her a second ago. <laughs> Maybe she went to go get a drink, yeah. <laughs> or a snack, or something. Well, we can bring EJ on. Yeah, here we go. Here. Yeah, go ahead and bring EJ and and Ellen. Oh. Bring them both on until Rainbow gets here. Uh, cool. Okay, go ahead and bring in Ellen again. Oh. Well, on the note of the listener, um, I've been streaming some of it online. It's actually a really good show for those who haven't seen it. Um, oh, we have somebody joining us. EJ de la Pena. Okay. So apparently nobody can join us right now. <laughs> <laughs> Is it not working? Uh, oh, we have somebody joining us. Uh, turn uh, the uh, the live stream down or off. No, no. never. <laughs> it's EJ. It's EJ. Who? Who's this EJ? Where is he? What? Huh? Where'd he go? Welcome to the podcast. Why? Thank you. <laughs> so EJ, you're the uh, producer for uh, Nobility. Nobility? What's that? Great show that I'm looking forward to watching. <laughs> but uh, other than that, you know, uh, we also got Ellen who's going to come on. Hopefully, you know, Rainbow won't take too long to get wrap up that uh, uh, commercial shoot. But uh, for anyone watching on the live stream, uh, Rainbow is kind of with us. He's just recording uh, Nike. Was it Nike? 
I don't know. Uh, I don't know. He's doing a commercial. I was asking, uh, hey, AJ. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, can you uh can you contact uh, Rainbow? Try to contact Rainbow uh, David. Hello. Hi. Oh, it's just you and me, huh? And oh, me. And me. Oh, where, Michael's here. Where did oh, David go? <laughs> Not Michael. Too. Uh, I don't know where. David. <laughs> Jeez, EJ, look. Okay, I creamed you in StarCraft. Just get over it. Never. <laughs> The right, nukes anyway. <laughs> will fall on you next time. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, might as well, you know, while we are waiting, I might as well announce that I'm going to be having the hey, pleasure can you of hear visiting. Me? Oh, yeah. Hello. Yeah. yeah. Hello. Yeah, she says she's staying. Oh, alive, please so. turn down the uh, live stream there. Uh, cool. Hi, guys. Can you hear me okay? No, not at all. Yeah. <laughs> Want to bring her straight in? Boy, this is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you get the live stream done. Turn, turn it, turn the audio, audio off on the live stream, actually. Turn the so yeah, yeah. Uh, Rainbow is currently Stop shooting a commercial, me. and oh, what is that sound? I have to. I had to. Oh, that's Ellen. Ellen, turn the live stream off. I turned it off. Can you hear me? Uh, yes. Yeah, we, we can hear you, but we can hear the echo from the live stream from your speakers. So we're like, uh, what? I just okay. Tell me this is better. I just turned. It's this... way better. You're good. You're fine. You're perfect. Excellent. Here. So yeah, Rainbow is uh, shooting a commercial, and uh, they've tied him up, and you know that's a paying gig, and and we're not. So uh, yeah, that's gonna take precedence. Wait, I'm not getting paid for this. I'm out of here. <laughs> EJ, I'll give you a dollar when I come visit. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Hey, it's a, <laughs> it's a great way to start the July 4th weekend, huh? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, it is. Yeah, it celebrate, a dollar. Celebrating, waiting, and not getting paid. And it's great. <laughs> and not getting paid, yeah. <laughs> America, don't you love it? America, America. beautiful. <laughs> hey, I just can't wait for the fireworks tomorrow night. Oh, the yes. fireworks are starting now, guys. Right now. Okay, everybody, we're gonna we're gonna say our names real quick so that we can. Uh, Tyler says he can't hear one person, so uh, uh, I'm Grin. I'm David. I'm Alan. I'm... Sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. Go each... <laughs> and I'm just some random loud guy. And I'm Michael. <laughs> Hi guys. Oh, I don't know which one isn't uh, uh, clear, <laughs> but. Uh... Oh, that's me? <laughs> Jeez, I'm the one that's not clear. Gran, learn to speak up, huh? How about now? Can you hear can you hear me now? Am I louder? <laughs> oh, Am I, I any louder? Fine. I don't know about everyone else, but uh, I, I guess being slightly heard is better than not being heard like last time, so <laughs> <laughs> Sli yeah, slightly heard. Oh, last time it wasn't that, it was only one side. Only one side. It was it was mono. Oh, that's he hears you well, a little bit now. Wow, I'm, I'm. It's, to me, it shows that very loud. Yeah. But there is a I don't delay know. on the live stream. He may not be uh, um, right in sync with us right at this minute. Okay, here. Oh, that no, way too loud. Hello, hello, hello. 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 <laughs> hello. Hello. <laughs> are, we gonna, are we gonna start a musical now, guys? Hello, my, hey, hello, my darling. Hello, my ragtime guy. <laughs> I like that song. Yeah, that was from uh, uh, what was it? The Spaceballs, right? Yeah. Spaceballs. <laughs> yeah. Movie. Hello, my baby. Hello, my ragtime. I remember that. Yeah. Not again. <laughs> So yeah, we were gonna we were gonna like talk about Stargate Atlantis with Sun Franks, and then uh, you know bring in Ellen because Ellen, you you were on uh, the Listener, yeah, uh, for uh, one one show was it? Yeah. And uh, just like surprise that, and then you know talk about nobility a little bit because you're in nobility, but uh, uh, Rainbow is stuck in uh, a shoot, a commercial. Oh, good. <laughs> the Stargate musical. <laughs> yeah. So we're just gonna hijack the the podcast and turn it all about turn it into all about nobility, right? 
Uh, no, we're going to talk about Stargate Atlantis because this is the 10 year anniversary. But yeah, we'll 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 you know break into nobility there. And... EJ, oh, you'll absolutely. get nobility will get it. Uh, <laughs> nobility will get its time when after you know like the 16th when we put all the footage together. <laughs> and I I really can't wait. EJ, this... are you there? So... No, not at all. Oh. <laughs> Sounded like him. <laughs> DJ, I hope we get to see some of your karate. <laughs> oh yeah, his his karate is pretty good. I saw it. It was, it was great. He was like waving his hands, and I couldn't even see it. He's like a ninja. <laughs> you gotta watch DJ. He he was hiding on the couch. So if anyone uh, hasn't seen EJ, you, we I did a a uh, um, casual interview with EJ on uh, the Save Sci-Fi uh, YouTube channel. And uh, yeah, he's, he's, he's like wearing black and he blends right in with the couch. And he's a ninja. He is. A highly visible <laughs> invisible man. Always in camouflage. Yeah, exactly. EJ's always in camouflage. You never know when he's going to spring up out of that couch. <laughs> like, Ooh, donuts! And he just pops out of the couch. <laughs> Ellie, look behind you. He's got great hats too. <laughs> and that what one, that you? one that he has in the uh, in that he had in the at least the original Kickstarter video. Yes, yes, yes. Very dapper. Very I love dapper. that. That's fantastic. <laughs> What's underneath um, that hat? I'd like to know. I don't think I've ever seen it. Have you? I, I have. I, I oh. want to know, too. <laughs> What's uh, there, guys? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe we don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> What's underneath that hat? I'd like to know. I don't think I've ever seen it. Oh, there we go. Okay. That's a good girl. <laughs> Delayed. Okay, so Rainbow says he's trying to figure it out. Yep. Oh, good. I just okay. It's not going through. I'm trying to send you guys a link of my karate. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. From the what movie was that? Um, run, Ronnie, run. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I also get to shoot an alien in this clip. I, I'm sending you. Oh, fantastic! <laughs> Lots of fun. Mm. Uh, I sent it to Michael. Oh, okay. Let me. I, I have to. On Facebook. On Facebook. Oh yeah, Michael, you'll have to. Yes, I'm. I'm sending it to you guys now. And I'm putting it in the live stream too. <laughs> you want me to? You want me to show this clip? Sure. It's about a minute and a half of me being badass. <laughs> <laughs> this clip, EJ. <laughs> 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 the alien just like fell. <laughs> then you you should have seen my karate on the twenty fifth. We were shooting, and the carpet wasn't completely uh, laid down, and so I'm running, and it's supposed to be med bay, and I'm I'm playing the doctor, and I'm running, and all of a sudden I go, whoop, and I'm flat on my ass. <laughs> this just goes from like you shooting an alien. Oh yeah, that's I remember. <laughs> Is this a pissing gun disc? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. The explosion in the background. <laughs> That's very rough. Yeah, that, that, is, that is so awesome. We <laughs> Talk about Joe. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I think it's that, that... in that shot. Man, I, I I'd never get sick of this. You guys have way too much fun over there. Oh jeez, <laughs> you know this video is on the live stream right now. I'm I'm watching it on the live stream. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> That's the part in the live stream. The part on the live stream right now is perfect. That's my favorite part. <laughs> <laughs> the explosions in the background. Hi, Ellen. How you doing? Uh, is that it? EJ, you there, hon? I am here. Hi, baby. How's it going? It's a going great. How you doing? I'm doing <laughs> just fine. I'm just laughing my head off. Listen to all you guys talk. 
Well, that's just perfect, darling. I love it. I love it too, sweetheart. I really do. Why are we talking like this? I guess because we are. <laughs> because why not? You know what? I got enough Western roots. I, I can do it. I can pull it off. <laughs> hey, honey. All right, so. We can this is the same again. sci-fi podcast. <laughs> All right, me too. <laughs> and uh, and we're this is actually the anniversary podcast for say as uh, uh, Stargate Atlantis. However, uh, wow. our special believe. guest isn't isn't here yet. He's currently uh, doing a commercial or something like that, and they're holding him up. Do you know, uh, guys? Uh, I got cast in Stargate and got had a job and had to turn it down. Oh, a bummer. Oh. One of my horrible regrets in my career was, I mean, it's a, it was a wonderful thing because I happened to be working, but I really wanted Stargate on my resume. So I, I just wanted to put that out there to the, to the fans and your listeners. And sadly, it didn't work out and they couldn't work out the two things at once. So that's my Stargate story. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, oh. Oh. Yeah, what, what role would you have played? It was one of these alien women that was, uh, I saw the episode, some weird, she had a weird headdress and a weird white robe. That's all I remember. I don't remember what the episode was, but she spoke a lot like Kate Blanchett, that kind of highfalutin language. I remember at the audition going, how am I going to remember all this text? It was just on and <laughs> on and on. And, but it was... Uh, I can't remember the name of the uh, name of the episode. I auditioned for it a couple of times, and um, but it was really awful that I couldn't work it out because I, that's you know it's an iconic show to have on the resume, and every sci-fi actor, every actor wanted to be on that show. So I wanted to be on the show. I you did. On the show. <laughs> I was even Ellen, watching I what was on air. What would you have played? Stargate. I, I would have played, you know, you know that uh, that that alien guy with the big head thing on on. Well, he he's no name, you know, extra number one. I'd have played him, but and I'd have got the shot. Best. You would have been the best at that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I totally would have got shot. Like, yeah. oh, you, right away. you wanted that? I see. Yeah, I'd, I'd I'd be one of those guys that you know it's like a a two second shot of me running at at the main character and then getting shot. By someone else from the side or something uh, like that. That would that would be me. You just want to be. wear a squib, right? You want to want yeah one of those bloody squibs and have that explode, right? Yeah, it's not, that would be great. Yeah, you know, I know. A lot a lot of people want to do that. They just want to feel that explosion of that wet red blood pack. <laughs> Th what about you, EJ? If you're that's blood that's how EJ gets to sleep at night. Yes. With a blood pack. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, EJ I, puts I, a blood I, pack. Like, boom. Okay, I can sleep. Blood. Now. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, well, that's a that's a whole other series. <laughs> <laughs> Sleeping with blood. Oh, I would have wanted to be a badass marine who, uh, uh, like, guest stars and like plays one of the one of the like central characters in one of the episodes, and like pulls SG ones, uh, you know, or or uh, uh, you know the or, or Shepard's team's uh, ass out of the fire. You I just wanted good. to be the yeah. guy that would put Shepard's team in. Thank me. you. I would, I'd like I would to have, see that. I would have liked to have been the guy that McKay screams at repetitively just for no reason <laughs> whatsoever. <laughs> Wait, is this SG1 or Atlantis? Atlantis. That you're uh, he, I think you're, are you talking about Zelenka? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, maybe not Zelenka. Maybe I'm the person that Zelenka yells at. <laughs> <laughs> you incompetent idiot. You dreamed the ZPM cooking waffles. <laughs> That was very bizarre sounding. It sounded very <laughs> muffled, like you put your hand to your face or something. It was very strange. Uh, no, I was, sort of, He's I, was, his I was yelling at the carpet. <laughs> <laughs> sounded like a of, weird alien. I'm, I'm, I'm in Australia, so it's actually quite cold down here in winter. So I'm sort of wrapped under a blanket on the ground. And yeah, I just sort of, as I was doing that, I slowly but surely leant forward because I was, yeah, and it didn't end well. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, David, any luck with uh, Rainbow? Um, he says he might be able to do it on his phone and he'll get back to us soon. So he's, um, yeah, he looks like he's trying really hard. Well, uh, in the meantime, why don't we do a nice uh, intro for, for Ellen so people know who, who she is, what she's done, all that fun stuff. Yeah, yeah Ellen, uh, you're, you're, you were in one show of The, the, uh, the Listener, but you've got a, a laundry list of, of other shows that you've, you've uh, worked on. 
Um, yep. And and of course, right now you're doing Nobility, which is fantastic. Uh, love it. Uh, one of my favorite shows that you were in was Napoleon Dynamite. Oh, uh, Napoleon. <laughs> you know what's interesting about Napoleon Dynamite? It relates to your audiences because of uh, a sci-fi show. Uh, one of the producers was a huge fan of that show, um, Chris Wyatt. And he hired me because he was a fan of Lex, which was this crazy, wacky show I did. Oh, my God. And, <laughs> and he interviewed me for a, a sci-fi magazine at the time called Cinescape, which was a big sci-fi magazine. You guys probably remember it. And uh, flash yeah. forward after the interview, we remembered how crazy and wacky I was. And <clears throat> I was acting. And uh, he said, oh. do you want to do this comedy? called Napoleon Dynamite, and he sent it to me, and I went, oh, my God, this is really stupid. But <laughs> I thought, what the heck? Somebody wants to hire me? I've never been to Utah. Let's go. So <laughs> off I went and ate a lot of white bread and, and cheese at craft service and uh, watched uh, John Heater with his buck teeth and his crazy permed hair for many days and just could not keep a straight face. And the rest is history. So you never know. You never know. You always yeah, it, jump at these things. It is like these these connections are, are crazy. I mean, as soon as... Uh, uh, there's so many connections with like uh, Rainbow and, well, you were on a show together yep. once and then... Rainbow's been on the sh a show together with another person from Nobility. Uh, what's, uh, what's the name? Uh, Tori. Tori Higginson. Tori, Tori, yep. And oh, one, yeah. thing that, That'd be awesome. one thing that EJ doesn't know, and I'm going to confess this now and to you guys, is I, one of the first movies I ever did, are you ready for this, guys, was with Tori, and it was called, it's not on the resume, Balls Up. Jeez. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> not that kind of movie, boys. Ah oh, man, I was like, ooh, <laughs> I was I was going I was gonna go straight to the pirate bay and, and go get that one. <laughs> no, and Tori's probably not going to be too happy, but you know what? We met and we had a great time, so we're happy that EJ is reuniting us. It was actually a movie about the lottery, the balls, those lottery balls, you know, that go sure, swish swish swish. Alan, sure. Yeah, we we all play <laughs> balls up. Falls up. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't That's see that on your IMDb either. No, it's not on the IMDb. Oh, you're trying to hide it, but you told it on our show. Thank you. But I'm t I'm <laughs> confessing something to you. I believe in an interview. I should be honest. So there you go. <laughs> Same here. By the way, I also double as Superman. <laughs> yeah. Your nose well, is growing bigger. <laughs> you have no idea. My nose is huge. <laughs> if it grew any bigger, I'd knock people out every time I turn my head. I, I have I have a big secret to tell. Why do you? Am fat man. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was because scary. I'm Batman. <laughs> EJ, you scare me, honey. <sighs> so yeah, <clears throat> when one of the, one of the cool things I like about Ellen here is that. Every time I hear your voice, I keep pretending that I'm in Skyrim. Oh. And <laughs> yeah, Skyrim is a, is a video game for anyone who doesn't know. If you don't know, then, well, you suck. You really. Where have you been for the past few years? Where have you been? <laughs> yeah, right? So um, Skyrim is this awesome, awesome game, Elder Scrolls. And uh, there, she, uh, Ellen plays a few of the, quite a few of the characters or voices of quite a few of the characters in yeah. the show or in this in the game one of the greatest, and, uh, one of the greatest uh experiences voiceover wise i've ever had um it's i mean talk about it's actually the it wasn't the first game i booked uh but it was the first that came out so that's a quite a, an opening for a video game career to come out in skyrim which won every single award and one of the biggest games ever. And um, yeah, a lot of those voices sounded like EJ just sounded. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Batman? <laughs> Batman? Yes. Yes. A lot of, uh, when you have a deep voice as a woman or you've got some richness, they tend to want to push you down into your throat. So after 
weeks yeah. and weeks of this, you end up sounding like you know a, a reptile when you, you come out or, in there. Like you just got done smack smoking like two packs of cigarettes. Yeah. Or something like that. yeah. Hey, what's up, baby? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And uh, actually, if you smoked, you'd have a real real trouble sustaining the breathing in in a in a job like that. But yeah, it's they're they're called throat rippers and. Uh, but I, I loved it. I absolutely loved it. And you and I never understood because it, it, they just called it common woman. And then fans would email me and say, oh, you're this part and this part. I didn't realize the thousands of lines would be going into different characters' mouths and different incarnations. So there's many characters. I still don't even know what I've played. So I'm still waiting. Some fans now and then will email me and say, oh, you're in this section or that section. So I'm getting more. Yeah, they used your voice for many things. Yeah, yeah, they did. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it was like, I, I don't know how many hours I've sunk in a Skyrim. So as soon as you started talking, my first thought was, I know that voice. Didn't realize it was Skyrim. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. Thank you. Yeah, I, I like that. And it's it's great to have a sort of a, a, a strong, powerful voice for... Well, I think also that's why EJ hired me because it's a, you know, I'm doing a kernel and you don't really want a kernel to sound like that. It doesn't sound so, good, you know, <laughs> you know, nobody's going to really pay attention to somebody who sounds like this. I mean, unless you're, yeah, unless you're on Red it would be Ball. great if you sounded like Mickey Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't think people are going to take, uh, take, take uh, orders from me, but, uh, you know, it's, it's very helpful in L.A., to have this kind of thing in video games because there's the military games and then there's, you know, the fantasy games where you do your, again, here she comes again, the Kate Blanchett kind of Lord of the Rings kind of delivery. And it's good to know your specialty in your voice world. Yeah. Do you have a specialty? You're pretty well-rounded. Uh, Ellen. It seems like you could do anything. I do. Ellen, you, thank I wanted you guys. the high voice. What'd you say? I wanted the high voice for Colonel Thea. Well, you know what? You're going to get it, baby. Yes. Why don't, why don't you just have her like have a different voice every episode? I'll, just have a, I'll have a different voice every line. Forget episode. Every line. One line. I'll be schizo. Schizotea. That'll be funny, actually. We're, we're going to talk after this. EJ's, EJ's wheels are turning. I can see it even though I can't see him. <laughs> you you got to have, well, I mean, with, with the insanity, to make it interesting, you got to have some consistent insanity. So if you're like always doing it every or changing every line, that might be a little bit much. Yes. No, no, but yeah, no, yeah. You change it every line and then for a whole episode, you're the same voice. And just have <laughs> the feds going, what the fuck? It's just, uh, <laughs> So, no. I'm yeah. Well, EJ Skyrim. could come in in the middle and sort of he we could do like a ventriloquist act, you know. Um, I could speak, or then he could speak and be me. That would be interesting, EJ. We should talk about that. You can yeah, wear the hat. We have to figure out which hand's going where to puppeteer who. Oh, we're back to that ball duck, are we? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, guys. <laughs> so that's for people who are just tuning in. For people who are just tuning in, this is the Save Five Sci-Fi Podcast, and uh, we were supposed to be doing uh, an interview with Rainbow Sun Franks, but he is being uh, Unavoidable. delayed by a a commercial <laughs> shoot, and they aren't being very nice to get him on the show. Um, they want their dang commercial. <laughs> yeah. So uh, he'll be on as soon as he can get away. Uh, probably on his phone. Do I need to call his phone? No idea. Give it a try, I so guess. Like, send him a message. Send him a message. Say, hey, do we need to call your phone? Can we stick EJ on them? <laughs> <laughs> EJ, go ninja them. Careful. I'll Ooh. go all fat man on their ass. <laughs> Give me a plane ticket. I'll bring the 3D camera. We can release it in cinema. <laughs> <laughs> So, so Ellen, I looked it up on IMDb, and according yeah. to the to Skyrim's IMDb, you play Adisla, Adisla, Evet, yeah. Theta, uh -huh. Valda, and Common uh -huh. Woman. Mm -hmm. There's a bunch more, but those are you know what we never got the names of them when we when we did the show. It said yeah. Common Woman because, um, and then you would say, like, let's say there's a scene where. Um, somebody's being killed in your family, and you'd go, oh, no, my brother. Oh, no, my aunt. Oh, no, my uncle. Oh, no, my father. Oh, no, my mother. And you would do every single possible relationship. 
I was, I kept having husbands. I said, how many men am I married to? And they'd say, well, about 15. 15. Okay. And, did you, uh, you know, did you ever just reach different... the point where it's, oh no, my great uncle's aunt's nephew's cousin's yes. second moved. <laughs> I actually made a joke like that. I really did. I said, twice removed from the. That's kind of like the unavoidable joke in this, in this situation, right? It's like somebody's going to say something about yeah. that. And then somebody's going to laugh politely. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Or they'll go, what does that make us? And then you go, absolutely nothing. <laughs> but you're fat man. <laughs> Fat man. Oh, we're gonna sing again. Okay. I actually did. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so I did sing a couple of songs in Skyrim when I was a drunk barmaid. I remember playing a drunk barmaid, and they said, "Make up a song to your own tune." So I thought that was kind of cool. You really have to, when you're doing video games, you have to fly by the seat of your pants a lot of times because, as you know, how protective they are of their of their scripts. So you don't get to see them till the minute you're in the booth. So if you can't read or you can't dive quickly, you're in big trouble. Yeah, it's because there's a lot of language and a lot of crazy names that they hope you can pronounce and they'll help you and guide you. But you just sort of go through the teleprompter and go line by line by line and dive. Seriously, it's, it's, uh, uh, yeah. it's quite a challenge, quite a challenge. But I love it. I like diving and flying by the seat of my pants. But uh, a lot of people don't, you know, they like to know everything in advance in terms of uh, what they're going to say. And but the video game world, they can't do that because they don't want you to take their property off the premises and they don't want to email it to you the night before. So a lot of NDAs. Yeah. Yeah. NDAs will really get you, too, because ugh. I do a lot of uh, videos and well, I do a lot of videos, but I do a lot of like YouTube videos and stuff like that. Yep. And I do a lot of video gaming stuff. And uh, I'm actually in the middle of a, what is a that? Skype interview, but <laughs> <laughs> no worries. Are you uh, uh, gonna be uh, back tomorrow? Yes, sir. All right, talk to you then, man. Right. Sorry, <laughs> just some random person. Who the hell was that? We had a visitor. <laughs> yes, I actually had a visitor. I have a friend. No, <laughs> so, yeah, NDA is have a friend and he's gone. Kill. <laughs> I'm gonna. Go out of that one. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> it's one of our, our art team building our sets. He, he just saw me sitting in my truck because I don't want to be in our in our uh, studio because there's so much noise because of the construction. So I went out to my truck and he she, sees me sitting here with my computer with the window open and he just assumes I'm <laughs> I'm like just dicking around or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are. <laughs> here we go again in that area of the body. Balls up, right? <laughs> yep. It's boys. Boys will be boys. <laughs> Yeah, we're just you know, boys don't grow up; they just get bigger. Yeah. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Okay. No. Well, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. You get bigger, sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not me. I mean, uh, no, I was no, not me. Except for Michael. Yeah. No, no, Michael's Michael's probably fine. I don't know, but I've never seen it. But oh, I'm hung like no. a dead gnat. Are you doing show me yours and show me mine right now? Oh my no, 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 no. I just want to get it off the table right oh, now that you'll oh, all win. Nothing but a fool. Right. Ellen, Cause, cause only if you... I'm, I'm hung like a dead gnat. Oh, no. A dead gnat? Okay. Yeah, dead gnat. Don't insult gnats. Gnats are nice gnats. <laughs> Ellen, I had a question for you. Sure, please. Let's get out of that gnat thing. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh it's coming back later. <laughs> oh, I'm so hard. Okay. And meanwhile, David, find get 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 in contact with Rainbow. Okay, anyway, anyway, Ellen, I wanted to ask you a little bit about Lex. Actually, I didn't I didn't realize until until you mentioned it you were on Lex. And see, I've watched like the first two seasons and then half of the third or whatever. And I did see um, the episodes with Jigarata. Um, what was that show like actually being there filming it? <laughs> well, I would say up until Nobility, which I'm sure will surpass it. I haven't started yet, but Lex was probably one of the greatest experiences of my life because the cast was crazy. The locations were amazing. That's when they had big budgets. So we went to Thailand, Germany. Oh, yeah, we shot in Thailand a famous episode called Apocalypse now a spoof of apocalypse now 
And the cannibal, I don't know if you ever saw the fourth season, I became the Pope of the modern <laughs> world, the only female Pope in sci-fi history. And um, we shot in old temples in uh, Thailand, um, north of Bangkok in a place called Kanchanaburi. It was, first of all, to be an actor and be a tourist and do a crazy show like that, I mean, that's a dream come true. You get a double whammy of doing crazy, fun show and then also seeing an incredible country. Um, and we also shot in Germany. And then later on, they went to South Africa. My character didn't go to South Africa, but we we toured the world world with that show. You know, we went to we went to Hall we started in Halifax and then. We shot in Studio Babelsberg, where Marlena Dietrich shot her the My Blue Angel. And the old movie, do you guys know the movie, the silent movie, The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari? No, I don't. One of the first horror movies, silent horror movies, it was shot there too. So it had a real kind of old school quality, like from the 1930s. Anyway, so uh, Lex was off the charts for me. Uh, crazy... <laughs> to be able to do a, a, a character that was basically no holds barred and do what male characters usually do. You know, she was a, a pig, really. Jigarata was a pig. Just <laughs> absolutely balls to the walls, no holds barred, would do whatever, basically what, what people would want to do in real life, just go for it. So I had a great time. It, it was really an, an incredible experience and a very quirky weird show but it started my <laughs> my fan base in the sci-fi world and people still email me it's it, there it's i think it's on netflix now or something and people are watching it for the first time or the 400th time so yeah i'm very grateful i gotta tell you i'm very grateful uh, well i mean Stanley, you useless waste you were, of you... skin <laughs> oh yeah oh there you go yeah i had a lot of skin lines waste of skin and and, he, you know, I ate a lot of brains and a lot of people. I mean, the outfit I wore was the skin of a uh, minister that I, you didn't see me do it, but inviscerated and put on my back and his head was on my back. So that was the outfit. One of the craziest, I started to become the queen of people, of actors that would wear the weirdest costumes. I was known for that. And that kind of was one of the first crazy costumes I've ever worn. I mean, they based it. This is really gross, guys. On a EJ, you got to get him a got got to get her a costume. You know, crazy. Costume. <laughs> it was based on an autopsy report, so it had the stitches, and it was very, it was very weird, very strange. With the head on the back there, with his hair and his eyes, it was just. It was uh, that producer Paul Donovan? He had a quirky mind, very very sick, fabulous, brilliant mind. So. Yeah, I had a great time. <laughs> I'm gonna have to watch I, that. I'm kind of afraid of you, Owen. <laughs> I'm, I'm just sitting here going, oh wow, well, um, <laughs> that's that's kind of creepy. <laughs> well, and and then after that creepy outfit, then I became a bodiless head bobbing in a water and water, and my body was a crane. So I don't know if you ever saw me play Queen, and I had this sort of I was like the Wicked Queen, and I would bob around in a hot tub flirting with Stanley and licking my lips. And then when he said, show me yourself, I literally rose up out of the water and I had a big crane of a body. So that was very bizarre too. Oh, I had an 18 foot tongue too. Oh, oh Jesus, 18 foot tongue. Moving on, we're not going there. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds like something from like Doctor Who, you know, like the head of yeah. Boat. Bo, or Bo. Face, Bo. face of Bo. Face of Bo. Face of, yeah, face of Bo, yeah. What wasn't that uh one of the characters? Yeah. Like he was he was like a head in a jar. He was that like the breathes. the American that guy happens. who who that could happens. travel that through time in his Yeah, he was him, right? That's yeah, really they, they revealed that, that Captain Jack was uh was yeah. Yeah. Was the head of Bo. Oh, the face of both. Oh, face of both. oh, oh yeah. uh, Grin, that Grin you know that thing, Leonard. Uh, I love it. What's her name? Um, uh, um, Heather. Heather's doing the uh, stalking, stalking John Berman. Um, oh, uh, I don't know about this. <laughs> EJ. Um, she's got. She's actually gone. You remember? You know Heather Leonard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was uh, going to be one of your writers for the website, wasn't she? Uh, yeah, and she's. Uh, 
feel really bad about this. I don't remember which project she was. She was a he- she's head of, but uh, I think it might have been Gwydion. But um, oh. but she's uh, d- she's doing the U.S. premiere of Stalking John Barrowman. She got to actually talk to him. Oh wow! Huh. Is that a new reality <laughs> show? It- <laughs> <laughs> Sounds oh. like he was over here for Supernova, and he, um, whenever you're in Australia, you cannot not do the Tim Tam slam. You nibble on the corners of the Tim Tam and drink a coffee through it. Delicious. He did that uh, over here, and that video went absolutely yeah, yeah. crazy. He's a funny what? guy. What is this? I, I've been to Australia, and I've never heard of this. A Tim Tam is. A, you oh, know what a Tim Tam is? Wonderful treat. It's it's a it's a oh, yeah I've it heard is about it's those. that wonderful treat. Is yeah. that kind of like biting the ends off a of licorice, sticking it in your soda, and using it as a straw? Sort of. Yeah. It's a biscuit with chocolate all around the outside of it. So it's sort of like drinking a coffee through a chocolate biscuit. Sort of. Okay. But, but it tastes a hell of a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> if you're ever in Brisbane, Australia, either of you two, come round to my place and I'll treat you to a Tim Tam Slam. Which sounds really sus retrospectively. <laughs> EJ, yes. you heard that invite, right? I did. Okay, we're going to go after the show's finished. <laughs> Sounds good to me. <laughs> Get on the airplane. Buy tickets. Thank you for sending us first class tickets. We appreciate it. Who the hell's paying for this one? <laughs> uh, uh, just go ahead and put it on. Uh, Put it on uh, Michael's, Michael's, Michael's visa. Okay. I'm, the only, I'm the only one here who doesn't yeah, have Michael's a job, visa. Grin. <laughs> I, I, I was going to say, Michael, are you even uh, uh, old enough to have a credit card? I do. I do have a credit card. I do. Oh, so you can put it on your credit card. Fancy. It's like, I don't have a job, but I got a credit and card. And that's how every, I've that's had how a very, every college I've had student starts. Job. A very intermittent job. Right. I've, been a taekwondo instructor multiple times and i've taught violin so um yes no i'm just starting college so in the fall so i do not have the money to buy you guys any tickets at all <laughs> but but you could yeah, kick our ass boy. while while uh, playing us beautiful music <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah I could. next time on karate kid the violin expert <laughs> <laughs> Karate Kid, the violent violin. That's, that's even better. <laughs> so, all right. This, this this show actually was derailed by the fact that our special guest apparently is yeah, not probably not. coming. Uh, Rainbow Sun Franks. I don't know. David, um, you talked yeah, to him? Yeah, I haven't heard back from him in about 20 minutes. He says he's been delayed and um, he might have been able to call us on the phone, but he's I haven't heard from him. So he probably won't be making it. So... Okay, well, I, I gotta say this. This is this is to you, Rainbow. You owe me an interview. I'm sure right. Rainbow will follow up on it. He's probably in the middle of holding some kind of piece of cheese or a piece of bread, and he has to stay still in a commercial. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's doing oh, the Tim Tam challenge. Be good. No, no. <clears throat> or Tim, and I Tim Tam Slam. Done, I'm sure uh, tons of commercials and. You know, this is just how it happens. Sometimes the something doesn't go right, and it just takes too long, and and you get delayed. And you know, they're paying you really good money, so you can't exactly bitch about it. So yeah. No, no, I ain't bitching. I'm just saying that he owes me. A, actually, an interview, the longest shoot really I good. ever had was a commercial. Really. Eighteen, eighteen and a half hours. Woo. Uh, eighteen wow. and a half hours. Yep. Yeah, I've shot long hours on you know film and television, but the commercial was the longest. I, what was it? A Super Bowl it was commercial? A beer commercial, and it just went on and on and on because the the client they're very picky. Commercials are actually in a way pickier than film and television. There's a lot of chefs, right, EJ? Yep, a lot of chefs, and they're very picky about. It's it's very it's very interesting work. You really have to have a lot of patience to do it but you think of the money ej's right you think of the money yeah we should have ej and nope. ellen do a commercial for save sci-fi <laughs> <laughs> sure it's uh 50k a piece though <laughs> <laughs> 50k a piece but for you it'll be 49k <laughs> oh thank you so much what would we 
what would we do with a commercial? I mean, it's like attack of the killer bio. We... <laughs> <laughs> we, we put it in the middle man. of each episode in ability. <laughs> Oh, it's, on, it's, on, it's on one of the view screens. Regardless of where you are on the ship, there's always a view screen playing it. Same you'll, have to talk, you'll have to talk to the creator of our show about that. His name is um, EJ, by the way. Maybe you should talk to him. <laughs> yeah, here, I'll go get him on the phone. Hold nah, on. That guy's a jerk. Hang on, EJ, get him. Jay, the next karate kid. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. We might get me, be able to get Jaden Smith through that one. I don't know. <laughs> Well, what what I hope is uh, we'll we'll get a bunch of interviews of from the cast from Nobility and talk about specifically Nobility. Uh, I don't know. We'll see how that works because we were supposed to talk about Stargate Atlantis, and I don't think we've said anything. Oh, about we're Atlantis, about right, so. also... <laughs> what? <laughs> Happy tenth birthday, Stargate Atlantis. Yeah, Stargate Atlantis. Happy tenth birthday. birthday. Uh, well, I don't know how to sing my, my, my family special happy birthday, birthday song, but I don't think you want me to air it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It, it is, is it PG? PG, but it's morbid. Oh boy. Okay. Oh. You got you got a curious now. Just go, on, yeah, go ahead. Do you want me to? Yeah. All right. Go on. Go on. All right. Go all on. right. You can go ahead. It, Here we go. Bum, 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 It's your birthday. Happy birthday. One year closer to death. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was beautiful. Wow. We're going to make up a new uh, record of that one. <laughs> That's... That sounds like a t shirt. <laughs> That's my next ringtone. Me too. You do too. We have oh, to incorporate Rainbow... that into the show. Rainbow's calling. Rainbow's calling. Oh, oh, oh. oh it's okay. Wow. Wow. On. wow. That was something else. <laughs> <laughs> My dad made it up years ago. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Family's happy birthday song is just basically really high voices. <laughs> I'm trying. Come on, David, put them on. Hey, we we've got you know like five minutes left. Well, hello, Rainbow. Are you there, Rainbow? Uh, Rainbow. Rainbow. Yeah, they actually called. Double rainbow all the way. <laughs> Double rainbow. Oh my god. Is he here? Oh, he's gone. Shit. He's added no? to the call. No. He's just not in it. There we go. Yeah. Join. Hello. Oh, geez. There he is. Hello. Hey. Oh, yeah, we yeah. got him. You sound great. Hey, guys. How are you? I can barely hear you. Sorry, I'm uh, in the middle of nowhere. Literally in the middle of nowhere. There was a sign and it said, Welcome to Nowhere, Population U. <laughs> Hold on a second. I'm trying to find a I'm trying to find like a little spot or something. I'm I'm literally in the in a place called Barstow. I don't even know where it is. Is it in Cali or Barstow, Arizona? California? I don't know. I don't know. I'm like in between yeah, Cali like and Nevada. Barstow, California. I'm in between Cali and Yeah, I'm you're in California. In Cali. There you go. I don't know. I fell asleep, and when I woke up, we were here, and now I wish I was home. I don't. I, I, I wish I had some nice turn of the century cabin, if you want. Like I, I wish I had some ruby slippers right now that I could click a couple times. Oh my god! Suck it up. I'm, suck I'm, it up. I, yeah, I wish. There's, there's nothing to suck up here. It's just dirt. <laughs> <laughs> or I would. I swear I would. I'm trying to find a place that isn't loud. Can you guys hear me? It's just uh. Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, we, okay. we can hear you. I, don't know I can hear you perfectly. Hear I put I, I put headphones in, but it's like just wind and dirt and crazy all mixed together, just swirling around. So, so here's here's the thing. We only got five minutes left. Oh, that's here. the best ever. Uh, but uh, but that's for me. That that's me, the host grin. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it running. Uh, if you can yeah, stay can on, Rainbow. Yeah.
Yeah. So then, uh, in five minutes, oh, okay. I gotta well, then... go. Uh, I got my daughter waiting for me, and uh, Michael, Ellen, EJ, and David are going to be uh, here to talk about like, it. So we we got Ellen on because like Ellen worked on nine hosts, the so listener. <laughs> Well, no, Ellen's Ellen's an actor from the Listener. She was in the show on one show. She was a guest uh, a guest actor in the show. We were going to bring oh, her cool. in to talk about the Listener, and and uh, we tried to get someone else. Uh, Tori Higgins from uh, Atlantis. Uh, Stargate Atlantis yeah. as well, but uh, she couldn't make it. And then we got E.J. De La Pena, who has hired or casted. Ellen to be in his series called Nobility. Have you heard of Nobility? Nobility? But I'd like to hear about it. Maybe I can get another job. Yeah. It, the peanuts that you're making now hey, aren't man. enough, huh? I'm, a, I'm an elephant. I love peanuts. <laughs> love. I'll hire you for, for a bag of peanuts. How's that? Absolutely. Hey, it all adds to my work. <laughs> When I, I die, it'll just too. be another thing people can watch. I'm okay with that. <laughs> I just like work. And yeah, I'm, right? I'm, I'm honest to God about that. I just, I love work. It, uh, it, for me, the, the downtime is, is worse. I'll, I'll do just about anything as long as it's a good project and fun. I care about work. It's, you know, I don't. I think well, fun is well, the I best part, right? Fun, if it's right. not fun, like what you're doing right uh, now. Right now, I'm working on a, on a commercial. I can't say what it is, but uh, I'm working. I'm. Sh- Right. So uh, well, I'm that? shadowing uh, an amazing director named uh, Anthony Mandler, who's just an incredible oh, cool. genius and uh, has been kind enough to, to let me come shadow him. So I flew myself out here to uh, to come just watch him work and uh, learn as much as I can because uh, I'm going to be directing pretty soon, hopefully. Nice, nice. Yeah, Very yeah. Nice. I got a, got a couple things that are in the works for myself. It's gonna be very, very fun for you guys, just because uh, one of one of them's uh, sci-fi related, which is fun. So. Oh, oh nice. great! What's that? All right, uh, wait. I can't tell. Yeah, you. what is it? Someone will steal it. It's not done. I'm not oh, done okay. writing it yet. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody will steal it. You've had that happen before. <laughs> No, we we don't we, we nobody steals yeah. sci-fi. They cancel it. That's what they do. No. <laughs> Not you guys. <laughs> I worked with a klepto, but that's a whole other show. <laughs> I would love to hear about that show. I would love to One just of the most famous story. female actresses in Hollywood who is a klepto. Oh, uh, Winona Ryder? Yep. Uh, there we go. I heard about that. Let's make we'll that the show. I will just join it. Let's talk, let's talk to Rainbow. <laughs> Wait, wait, real, real quick. I got a few people who oh. asked some questions, and I want to get those done first. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, no, seriously. One, one person. Okay, I got one. Okay, one person. Yeah. One and two questions. First, he wants to know what was your most enjoyable. This is Joe Boot. Butte. How I do like you say his name, Michael. <laughs> I think it's Butte. <laughs> hey, hey, okay. Butte, and uh, he says, "What was your most enjoyable episode of Atlantis uh, okay. to film?" Uh, Why? Uh, I would say that my favorite episode to shoot was probably. Uh, it's a toss-up. I, I really enjoyed all the the siege episodes. They were really fun, but uh, I would say that I liked uh, Runner was my favorite episode to film. Uh, I really enjoyed when. Ford turned into, you know, Wraith slash Super Ford. He was, uh, he was cool, and it got gave me a chance for the first time to kind of act in the show because I was kind of just a yes man for the whole first series. Uh, so um, yeah, it was like for a couple episodes I got to actually do something, and it was really fun for me. Um, and I got to, you know, me and Jason Momoa had we we, we went to, and practiced a bunch of fighting, and there's a there's a bunch of cool scenes in there. There's one at the very beginning when I walk off planet and I start. I smash a dude's uh, head on the table, the bo- the bodyguard or, or the bouncer of the of the bar or whatever. I'm trying to remember all the stuff. This is so long ago. Um, but but I but I really loved uh, just sort of like I got to act and I got a lot of action in that episode and it was a lot of fun and people got to see Ford really do his thing for a little while. So that that was fun for me, you know. Runner. So there's your answer, the runner. That was his favorite it was the, episode. It was the so uh, what conversely? Well. So it was like a really cool episode, you know. 
Conversely, though, what was your least enjoyable uh, episode? Th- Thirty-eight I minutes. Would even ask the, that, but... I think that was one of the least favorite for all of the cast. We were stuck in a puddle jumper, which is about like, eight, it's like a it's like a prison cell. It's like you know eight feet by whatever feet. It's not it's not even eight by eight. It's like eight by five, and there was like four of us or five of us in there, and it was just terrible. And Joe was stuck to the floor with that fake shitty bug on his neck. And... <laughs> There was just a dude pumping it, so it looked like it was breathing, and he 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 was hating life, which you know made us. Like, yeah. That was episode but it was, four, I think right? It was, I think it was the second or third one that we actually shot. So, um, and so, and I was new, and and there was a lot for me to do, and I was still like wondering what the hell I was doing on the show, and it was uh, it was very interesting, and uh, yeah, me and Hewlett, Hewlett hated. I I was really sick for a few days during the shooting. And my, I had a horrible head cold, and I couldn't remember anything. I was just kind of, like, lost. And that really bothered Hewlett because I was having a hard time. And uh, that made Hewlett have a hard time. So it was just, like, a shitty – it was just, like, bad. It was just bad. I think the episode turned out all right, but it was bad. And it was, like, a great Ford episode because saved the day. And, yeah, like, actually, it was a cool episode. Uh, yeah. But actually shooting it was – and Mario as a party was directing. And, like, if things aren't going right, he just yells at you. Oh, God, I've worked with him, too, Rainbow. Yeah, Whoa. yeah, yeah. Mario's just like, you fucking idiots, you suck. Yeah. You're the worst. Like, oh, Rainbow, yeah. I'm you. He doesn't and hold it, back. Yeah, and I'm like, Mario, I'm really not feeling well. We'll get it. Like, He's like, ah, you're bullshit. Oh, who hired you? And I'm like, oh, fuck. Yeah, it's the worst. Both had that. Yeah. Oh, it's I'm okay. sorry, I'm not it's laughing okay. at you. It was a very young, you know, I was 23 years old or whatever. I was like... <laughs> I was so excited. I was such yeah. a I'm such a sci-fi fan, and I was on Stargate, and like I wasn't feeling well. all I wanted to do was a good job every day. That's how I am all all the time. But you know, it's it's it's, it's hard when you're not feeling well and you're just having a bad day. Yeah, you're you're all over the place. Like you were, you got your own oh, YouTube got channel got thing that shows, you do yeah. with the gaming and stuff. Just like the end of last month, you did a, a I, listener giveaway. I, uh, I had uh, I had prize packs from all my sponsors like Microsoft and Ubisoft and um, I had I had a wonderful end games uh, that makes these personal gaming environments. We gave away a, a personal listener skin um, gaming environment to someone, which those things are like five hundred bucks, but this one's like one of a kind. It was really cool, and um, I did that because I really wanted. Basically, the episode was all about gaming, and it was my my character Dev's uh, sort of episode where where I got to lead for once, much like uh, like I was talking about. I'm always sort of playing these these supporting characters, so I got I got my story of the year or whatever, and I really wanted it to be the like a really high rated one, so I was doing every extra bit I could. Like, come on, watch! I'll give you some free shit, you know. And uh, anyway, uh, anyway, I got I got a mess. Really good episode. I, I, it, it actually is a great episode. That's the other thing I really liked it. I'm glad you said that. I, I thought it was one of the best episodes of the season and the show. That's where the d- d- game developer yeah, my is. My friend is a game developer gets like uh, gets murdered, and uh, he used to be a hacker buddy of mine before we both went good, and um, you know we were sort of displaced in, in friendship, and and eventually uh, he he died, and so it's up to me to sort of you know solve the crime. I take it upon myself, and 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 I take it really hard. And again, my character is more of the uh, without so much of the center of attention, very much like the David Hewlett character in Stargate. He's like that position guy he's the smart guy he's all that stuff uh which is a whole skill set i had to learn which is a whole different uh, story but but in this episode I, I sort of take on the role of of the lead detective and and uh and you know and there's a lot of emotion and so it was again a, a a really fun time for me to act and so i i did this contest and uh i ended up getting a message from uh both from the head of uh ctv and from uh from the head of the, the production company that makes our show, saying uh, thank you so much for your work and all this stuff. Anyway, it turned out I got the highest rated episode of the season so far. So, uh, uh, so in, excellent. Yeah, so I was like, yeah. in your face, other actors Bonus. I work with, suck it. <laughs> <laughs> that was the next day at work. <laughs> Uh, we, yeah, the next day we, we were, you, you, you're like, oh, hey guys, uh, we were already do done shooting, but it was time. probably awkward when they just got a dick pic from me saying "suck it" because <laughs> <laughs> that, that was probably weird for them, and I didn't really give any context to why I did it, so it's probably weird for them. That's cool. I'll get it later. <laughs> yeah, tell them to watch the uh, or will, listen I'll to the sci- Save Sci-Fi podcast. With another dick pic. They'll get an explanation. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's another dick pic, right? So uh, Ellen actually worked on one of the episodes. What episode was that? Rainbow Ellen? wasn't on that episode. Uh, it was, um, uh, it Jesus, was called really? Lockdown, and it was actually an important episode because I killed one of I, the main characters. Lockdown I, was which one was that? that one? Was the uh, hotel uh, oh, that's the one where we we got locked you, in the, the hospital. You killed a we. I killed Olivia. Um, my oh, wow. yeah. dick you are! Wow, thanks. I remember <laughs> that very much. Yeah, oh, it was wow. it was awful. I got some nasty mail saying, "Why did you kill her off?" I said, "Well, it was written that way. I had no choice." <laughs> yeah, I was my like, hey, it's I all your fault, the Ellen. Good. I was finding a cure for the virus, and I had to kill some people to to exactly. find a cure. You know, Listen. that's just the way it is. <laughs> the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. Exactly. Yeah, there's a Star Trek reference. Right. No, I was sorry I didn't get to work with Rainbow. Or, or my favorite quote is, <laughs> everyone's going to die. Yeah, I know. I worked with um, Craig and Lauren Lee, but I didn't get to work with Rainbow. And I, I think we saw each other in passing one day. You were going, I was going up the makeup trailer and you were going down and that was about it. So. Absolutely. <laughs> did, did I show you a dick pic? I, earlier. Yeah, yeah. I do, I do that. That's part of the audition process for the listener, actually. Oh, is that? Is, but I missed your couch. Where was it? <laughs> yeah, the dick pic. <laughs> you don't have a couch, Rainbow. I, I couldn't no, find no, it. No, no, I don't use a couch. It's just a series of director's chairs and the arms are cut off. It's a very awkward position. <laughs> very, very awkward. Oh, I see. Is that why they kept telling me to bend over? I see. Okay, I, I got it now. <laughs> I got it. But I got the part without bending over, and there you go. So, that, but uh, anyway. I've had the part for years, and I bend over every day. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Too it's much called, information, Rainbow. It's, it's called the Canadian film industry. It's amazing. Yeah. Oh, but a big. Oh, 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 now, I'm, now I'm going to have to. It's no, no better than the, yeah. the yeah. California film industry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got to hit that. Hey, Rainbow, how you doing? No, he's just like, hey. Rainbow, hey, you're looking uh, pretty good. For just a couple of minutes, I'll be right back. Hey. Bye, AJ. Yeah, sure. All right, AJ. Uh, yeah, you might actually like Nobility. Check it out. Go to like nobilitytheseries.com or just search Absolutely. Nobility. Really, where's it shooting? It'll pop up. We start oh. shooting in. It's I'm shooting in, Toronto in California. Right now, Rainbow, but uh, we start shooting in LA next week. There's actually okay. um, a couple of Canadians in it. Myself, Tori Higginson, and uh, Raul Trujillo, and Kaz Anwar. Do you know them? Cool. I, I think I know Kaz. I don't know uh, the other person you oh, mentioned. Yeah. And I, you know, I, I love Tori. She's, Tori's my fucking girl. I love her so much. She's, she's so fabulous. She's yes, fabulous. She's so absolutely. Some really, it's four Canadians out of a cast of, uh, I think, eight or nine or something. So that's good. And, I uh, love the, that. You'll have to come by, Rainbow. There's going to be parts if the show goes for sure. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, what about well, we're Walter about, Koenig? We're ex excited about him, the original Star Trek. I mean, I'm <laughs> iconic, iconic actor. It's always yeah. great to have somebody like that in a show. Iconic. You know, we all, everybody, everybody's seen him and everybody knows who he is. And He's like, I think he's 79 or 80 right now, but he's funny as hell. He's, you think, you think we're dirty. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I know. <laughs> what a mind. What a, I love that. I love that though. You know, you're never too old to have a dirty mind. Ah. Another, another character I like uh, in this show is James Kyson. I, I really liked him in, in uh, Heroes and, and uh, it seems like him yet. he's a pretty I, he funny guy. Through. No, he, I, I haven't know. met him yet. And unfortunately, we don't do ah. any scenes together. We will overlap on the days of shooting. But um, I mostly work with Kaz and Tori and, a, and an actor from England named Darren. I have to look him up. But uh, it's uh, there'll be a lot of Canadians hating each other in this. We really have quite a volatile relationship. It's going to be – I think it's great. I love well, it. You, well, we absolutely, you need to I get in everybody. on this one, It'll be so easy. Um, I just feel like it's going to be guys being really mean <laughs> and so being easy. like, I'm sorry, I'm right sorry, in. I'm sorry. There's a bunch that's, of Canadian actors on set. That's very Canadian of us. Yeah. Apologizing <laughs> to one another. Apparently uh, none of you guys have met Cass. Oh, yeah, right. we, I've we, run, love Cass. I, we love Cass here at the same time. <laughs> uh, no, Cass no, no, I, I'm we, just yeah, around. Cass was awesome. 
Cass is great. He's another video gamer like me. We both do a lot of video game voiceover stuff, as we talked about earlier. And Kaz is, yeah, Kaz oh, is Ellen, you. Do you we're, play StarCraft? We're too? all video gamers. Here. I don't play anything, guys. I'm. So, I only voice them. Ah, uh, because I'd love to beat. I'd love to have your help beating EJ again. <laughs> oh, oh well, maybe we'll talk about that. I do you play one. games, Rainbow? Do you do uh, StarCraft do or I, anything? Do I play games? Yes, I host uh, four YouTube channels, two Twitch channels. See the big games. And, oh, I gotta, I'm going to uh, yeah. check you out after. I'm going to check this out yeah. after. Yeah, check it out. It's uh, www.consolecreatures.com, uh, but that's just a website. Most people just go to our YouTube channel. Uh, console creatures is uh, what you search on YouTube, and uh, yeah, you'll see me. I do I do a bunch of interviews all the time uh, for developers, and oh, cool. uh, we 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 do live game casts. Um, in fact, I just opened a bar in Toronto called Ravage and Rumble, and we uh, we do live game casts from the bar on Fridays sometimes. <laughs> and so I'll close down the back half of the bar, and they'll be and then we'll be playing games in the back and have a projector out. It's really fun. It's uh, it's nice. fun. So yeah, I game very much. Check, I'm not... check it out? Yeah, please do. Yeah, I'm. I've been gaming since I was a, a baby boy. Yeah, and my sister does lots of uh, game uh, voices. Uh, you know, yes. Creek. Very. Yeah. I mean, very well voice known voiceover girl. Very well known. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. They're telling me like, oh, I just did Diablo three. Just did, but you know, I just did Warcraft. Oh wait, like, wait, what? wait. Are you serious? And then I go crazy. And she's like. She's like, I think I'm in some game. It's called Final Fantasy. And I was like, what? <laughs> Jesus. Like, I don't know. I don't know what that is. And me and my friends will be like, oh. I hate Skyrim. Did you, did you like Skyrim? That's me. That's me. I'm the only one who hated it. You know why? I, 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 I got to say, I love everything about it, except I, I, I loathe uh, first person perspective in video games. I'm like the only guy, I don't play Call of Duty. We have guys on my team that play that. I don't play, it's not true first person and it's so weird. And I, for some reason my brain won't get around it. Like when I'm, when I'm walking, I see my arms and I see my legs and I, it's like, I don't just see a gun or a weapon hanging, you know, it's not just like a cell phone hanging in the air when I'm walking, you know? That would be my equivalent to a weapon. But, um, right. yeah, it's, I don't know. I can't get out of it. In Skyrim, I got into it for a little bit, and then I realized I was just kind of walking around and fighting people in caves and not going anywhere. And I was like, don't I worry, can't get I don't it. take it personally. I didn't design the game. I, did, I just, yeah, exactly. I don't. <laughs> I just, <laughs> just, you, just, you just had characters. 15 husbands. I've many characters, but don't worry. <laughs> 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 I I love Skyrim. No. <laughs> and you had on on the note of gaming, Rainbow. Do you play um, any <laughs> mods and stuff like that, or do you just play the play... standard sort of games? Uh, do I play any mod, or do I play, or just standard games? Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty much a console gamer, uh, for the most I... part. Um, ah. I I I get to test a few games, but I I mostly am just a console gamer lately. Uh. I, I haven't really even picked up my work in a long time. I'm I'm a big uh, uh, console guy though. I just love I love games that I can get in. They're new, they're flashy, and I finish them and then move on to the next one. You know, I'm getting which, so many games but, all the time sent to me. So, which so, ones do you like? Uh, I love third person uh, shooters and stuff. You know, I, I I'm a huge fan of the Gears of War series. I, I'm also a big um, you know Grand Theft Auto was amazing this last round. And uh, I was a big advocate for Watch Dogs. I'm still, I'm at like 94%, just trying to grind out the last 6%. Um, hmm. I'm, I'm waiting on The Division. Uh, that's like my most oh, anticipated yeah. game. That looks great. Which just looks like it's kind of like an MMO style third person shooter, like so strange. And then the, the same way that Watch Dogs has innovated the game world with using mobile devices uh, online where you're playing against people. Uh, in real time is an amazing thing, and apparently the Ubisoft is going to use that same technology on where you can fly a drone and help your friends out while they're playing, so you can be riding on the bus or you know or a passenger in a car and help your squad out and sort of be out for them. And I absolutely adore that whole idea. Like I just think it's it's great. the next level. Of game. Yeah. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. And uh, but yeah, I, I play just about everything. I like fighting games. I like everything. The UFC game's amazing. I don't know. The the list is way too long. <laughs> <You're> like <laughs> I'll play anything. 
Have you ever played Kerbal so Faith Program? I haven't. Do you want to send me a link and I'll play it? What is it? Oh my gosh, it it's, is. It's a, it's a PC game where you build a spaceship and then you've got to try and fly it in a space and orbit around planets and stuff like that. You can it's... catch asteroids as well. So do you need a aerospace engineering degree to play this game? <laughs> no. <laughs> Not really. It's... But it doesn't hurt. <laughs> yeah. oh, it, it doesn't it, really know. <laughs> it has realistic physics for most of it. Well, that's what I'm thinking. That seems insane. I, I think like I would you? be terrible at this game. I would build a spaceship that looks really evil, but like has no flying capabilities. Like a puddle jumper, you know? <laughs> it's just a, like a cone. Well, let's put it this way. Like Basically, a... the way you play Kerbal. Build, launch, explode. Repeat. Build, <laughs> launch, explode. Repeat. Etc. Until you eventually get ship into orbit. And then your guy is stranded there. <laughs> that actually sounds kind of fun. What's it called? It, it is so much fun. Kerbal Space Program. I'll send you a link. You can get it oh. on Steam. Hmm. Okay, I can't wait. That sounds actually really, really fun. It is. It's really awesome. And I think right now it's on sale, actually, for the summer. I'm going to build huh. a spaceship that looks like a cat. <laughs> and yeah, you can uh, feel free to uh, to share it with us, share our screenshots with us afterward. Well... I Am I coming? Okay. Um, uh, uh, I have to go. I have to go, and I'll come back. Guys, I'm uh, I'm back on the clock here. Um, okay. Okay. I, can I, I, I love yeah, you all. Can I re? Yes, you can. Okay. If you guys yep. are still going, I'll check it out as soon as I get another break. Okay. Okay. Thank okay, you. Bye, guys. Thank you, man. Thank you. I'll see you in a bit. Bye. 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 Later, Rambo. Later. Where am I going, guys? Just down here? <laughs> I wish I could see all this. Um, I left my camera inside. Rainbow, I think no, the you GoPro. Uh, hang up. <laughs> Rainbow, you're still on. You're still on, Rainbow. If you can hear us. Rainbow, can you hear us? You're still Hello. on. <laughs> Rainbow? Are you yeah. still on? Uh-oh. Is he gone? I think there he's gone. There we go. He's gone. He's gone, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering if you we were going to get like, inside information. <laughs> Accidentally spying on everybody. Uh, anyway, you know I, can't, <laughs> I can't wait to come out and see you guys in LA. This is going to be awesome. It's going to be a where, lot of fun. Where are you? Uh, I live in uh, Maryland. Oh, cool. Yeah, our admins are all over the world, actually. I'm from Maryland. Uh, David's from Australia. Uh, Stephen is from Japan. Oh, I love it. All over the place. That's great. I don't think anybody would have guessed that David was from Australia. I don't think anyone would have guessed that. <laughs> yeah, we wouldn't have. No, it sounded sort of Swedish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can't tell, can you? <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> no, not at all. Yeah, you no. can have accents and live in other countries, though, you know. That's true. That's true. You're right. Who's to say I didn't smuggle David over here? <laughs> Help me, I'm hey, stuck in a bag. Stuck in a bag. <laughs> you make my accent? <laughs> it's always funny watching an Aussie accent in movies. It's like, it just doesn't sound right. <laughs> <laughs> it's because it's what we Americans expect. Yeah. Well, the funny part is you hear an Aussie with an Aussie accent in a movie, and it still doesn't sound right. <laughs> like... uh, I think we lost Rainbow into the into the uh, uh, into the yeah, start. Yeah. He, he... Abyss. I'm sorry, I had to go pick up my daughter. We weren't supposed to be this late, yeah, but Rainbow uh, has yeah, technical uh, Rainbow's technical gone. difficulties. He he I got my later, daughter now. So... We just sort of going to keep going, talk about some um, nobility. That's the word I'm trying to find. It's it's, it's, it's we never really got a, a chance. Great title. Yeah, nobility, nobility yeah. the series. I love the title. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I like I like how it's a, a I like dramedy. Shows you're looking for. I like shows that teeter both because that's humans. <laughs> we have tragedy and comedy sometimes at the same times in our lives, right? <laughs> Yep. I laugh in this crowd. I laugh. We laugh, tragedy. we cry. It's, right. Yeah, no, I think it's great. 
Very, very. And you have to laugh because you have to laugh when you cry because otherwise, what the heck's the point? Exactly. (laughs) And your mascara would run, right? Oh, exactly. Totally. Yeah. Yeah, EJ knows very well. (laughs) Oh, yeah. My mascara runs all the time. You know, I I just don't (laughs) laugh enough. Gotta get waterproof, baby. Waterproof. Oh, that's what I was screwing up. Thank you. Yeah, Thank yeah, you. you didn't. Yeah, you baby. didn't. Nah, you didn't read the memo, the waterproof memo. That's okay. Next Pardon. time we'll go swimming and we'll try it out again. Okay. Okay, darling. We'll do that. <laughs> All right. So we have a swimming scene in Nobility. There's a big swimming pool so, scene in Nobility in where we all go in know. the pool. And, and, and no <laughs> swimsuits are allowed. No, I'm just kidding. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh look at it. look at her! <laughs> that would be funny, actually. I know, right? Hi. Is that Rainbow? Say hello. Hello? Oh, somebody just cut out. Hello? Uh, oh, Rainbow's uh, not. Uh, we're all still here, I, I think. Hello. Oh. Hi guys. Hey. We, we just got video, video on now. Yay! Video. I don't have video turned on, do I? <laughs> no, you no. no, you don't. But you probably could. <laughs> No, I mean like my messy no. car and like it's odd angle and all that. I can't see. I can't I see, see you behind me. And my I, I, messy. I can see Grin. Quite half, really? quite easily. Yeah. You can't see me, oh. Grin. I see you, David. I don't see Grin. Uh, oh, there, there she is. Oh wait, wait. Oh. I'm, Maluka's gonna wave. Oh, that's Say, cutie. Hello. hello, Maluka. Hello. 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 How are you doing? What's going on? <laughs> I'm making sounds for your baby. Unfortunately, she can't hear you. <laughs> oh, it, it, I guess she can hear. <laughs> She's waving her foot. But uh, Maluka here, funny story. Uh, Maluka, the name comes from uh, a singer. That was our art that? director driving by. He, he, he's got, uh, Michael, you'll see it. He, he's got this like, old suzuki samurai that he's all doctored up so it looks like a a a, a tiki like polynesian world war ii truck with all these like uh like uh tiki like totems on it and everything and <laughs> that was his horn so he, as he was driving by me he was hitting the horn and waving <laughs> well, well i can't wait to see that That's oh you <laughs> dropped your corn girl <laughs> i think you'll like it man hey it looks like we hear gonna... me Looks like we've yeah we can hear you but it looks like we've got another person wanting to join the call if you guys don't mind. It's GB from yeah, Hawaii. Yeah, sure. Who's that? We've yeah, had him on before. Oh, I'm at GB has him. Hell yeah! All right, Bring let's him get him on. Do you, no, do, you uh, do you guys know GB has him? Well, have you guys it? ever heard of Strange Frame? Oh, well, he's not on yet. No, what's Strange oh. Frame? It's an animated. Yes, yeah. I have heard of this. Con. How about the Hawaii one coming con? up? That's that's GB's work. When is that one again? Yeah, GB like is running the Hawaii con. Yeah, somebody was just telling us about telling me about this today. Actually, who was it? I can't remember. Oh, I think Tori's going. In September. Yeah, yeah, he's having the entire cast from uh, from yeah. Atlantis yeah. come back for a tenth anniversary thing. It'll be a little bit bigger than ours, you know. <laughs> Uh, I think he needs. I, I I think he needs the entire cast of Nobility uh, yeah. there as well. I was just thinking the same thing, EJ. We both look good in hula skirts. <laughs> oh man, Ellen, you look amazing. But I have to say, I'm just smashing. I know, and I like when you put the coconuts on. You know, on the, on the piece. You, we I gotta put a whole thing on. Hello, hello. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's yeah. Okay, that's where we're gonna go. I, it's a weird angle. I mean, I guess you could, but it's a weird angle, and it's a messy as hell truck. No, no, I mean of the whole, uh, you know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the hula dance. Trust if, me, if, nobody wants to see me in a coconut bikini. Lunch, okay? t- lunchtime entertainment in the middle of filming, okay? <laughs> oh, that, <laughs> yeah, but then nobody will eat lunch. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> oh, that woke me up. There you go. That was an image. <laughs> and Ellen's like, 
EJ Get that twi- image out of my mind. EJ in the- hey, I'm melting. <laughs> EJ in the whole outfit doing doing karate. So, oh, so what? what? Wow. Got to keep that on. Yeah. <laughs> um, we're trying. He what happened? Calling. What happened to GB? I'm trying to edit David? the group, but it doesn't seem to want to work. Let me see if I can do it. Yeah, I want to say hi to him, and then I have he doesn't to know the he's in the guys, group. But I, re- I would love to say hi. Yeah, I Let's need to get going, too. I got producer things to do. Yeah, and okay. I have to learn my lines, or else I'm going to get in trouble with the producer. So, Oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Who's a producer? <laughs> some, the... some, some idiot kid who doesn't know what he's doing, I think. Oh, this kid does know what okay. he's doing. He's... <laughs> He may be young, but he's been around. Uh, <laughs> on many sides of the camera. True, EJ? True that one. True that one. You've worn many hats, literally and figuratively. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I'm up to 24 years now in the industry. So Wow. That, wow. <laughs> started, started when you were two. Like the baby. Uh, Hi, baby. That baby's so Hi. cute. Three, actually. But yeah. <laughs> Who's counting? Three. Who's counting? <laughs> You're wow, give or take you're, it. You're, you're, uh, you're getting old. <laughs> God. <laughs> yeah. I'll remind you of this in 10 years, Michael. Yeah, when his at teeth that are point, you'll be 10 up. years older. <laughs> no, no, no. See, see, I, I get to a certain age and I just stop. <laughs> yeah, I, that's a new sci-fi show I was thinking of myself. Yeah, I like that one. That is the cutest go. baby. That's the cutest baby. So yeah, I was trying to say yeah, uh, Maluka here. Uh, her name comes from an, uh, a singer uh, named Maluka, and she sang. Uh, what oh, was it? really? The, the Dragonborn comes from Skyrim. Yeah, she she has a really popular version of that, and they they just added her into the the soundtrack of people singing really? music for Elder Scrolls. There we go. That's it. Wow, that's an interesting yeah. little tidbit. So, I like. Well, here, here's here's the cool part. We we contacted Maluka and said, "Hey, we're gonna name our baby after." Her. And she was like, "Oh, that's great." But when she, Maluka was born, she was born about a week late. And I sent uh, Maluka, the the other Maluka, a message saying, "Hey, she's born now." And and Maluka says, "Oh, well, uh, what, does that mean what what day is it there in Japan?" I'm like, oh, it's this day, and she oh, says, no. it's my birthday too. Oh, that is crazy. so. They both have the same birthday. That's kind of cool. What's the what's the birthday? <laughs> I, oh, no, I no, can't I don't really mean tell that. you because you might like, be happy about that. September seventh, or yeah. Uh, okay. yeah. It's not. It's not letting uh, GB join. It's uh, again recent. Now. It's recent. Hmm. It's not working. I'm trying. Yeah, that's a bummer. We'd love to say hi to him. I yeah. gotta go to work. I mean, he can hear you. <laughs> yeah, he, he can call us. Maybe. Well, he can yeah. call me, but he just can't join. The... God, that's the cutest baby. I gotta tell you. <laughs> wow. Hi, baby. <laughs> so cute. Well, when, when you when you bring her out next, I'll have to pinch her cheeks. Are you going to come visit the set? Yeah. Will you pinch be able cheeks, to visit the set? Uh, I I came I came and visited once. Yeah, this was right. like, uh, it was like last year, year, this early this year. Yeah, before everything was all built warehouse. and whatnot, oh, yeah. it was just an empty, empty warehouse. Uh, full of dreams, of yes, dreams. full of lots of dreams. <laughs> oh, look at the baby with the better. microphone. That's so cute. <laughs> dreams are what keeps us alive until <laughs> life becomes worth living, living, if it ever does. Exactly. Yeah, I think life I is like worth that. living. I love life. Thank you. Well, GB, if you can hear me, Ellen Dubin says hello, and EJ says hello. I must get off. Uh, this lovely chat and it's been great to talk to you guys and EJ I love you honey and I'll see you soon 
Oh, that we're gonna have great. a proper we'll podcast for yeah. nobility. Yeah, maybe after I visit. So hopefully you'll come on with that. Save the day here and uh, fill in for Rainbow, and I hope he's okay and hasn't gotten into some weird <laughs> community that that is no communication or something. He's in some weird, like uh, what do you call it, like uh, with UFOs, and he can't speak anymore. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call that area? What is it called? Go on. Area yeah, yeah. Uh, Roswell, New Mexico. Roswell, yeah, 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 exactly. He's in a Roswell, Roswellian Rose. state. Thank it's, you guys. It's... Great to meet you, and I'll talk to you soon. I hope. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see you, see you in a couple of weeks. Love you. Thanks, Ellen. See, see you soon. Guys. I really appreciate Bye. it. Bye. Hey guys, I gotta get going too. Right. I got producer Bye -bye. things to do. Yep. Producery things. All right. Hey, thank you very much. This has been and the, the strangest Save Sci-Fi <laughs> podcast we've had yet. But uh, it's been, yeah, the longest. Okay. It's been fun. <laughs> <laughs> You're making my baby laugh. EJ can connect. Uh, EJ can connect mentally. <laughs> yes. I, I you can out. add GB. <laughs> if you can add him. All right, thank you very much, and uh, <laughs> we'll later, talk at you later. See you later, EJ. Later, guys. All right, and uh, I guess, are we wrapping up then? Yep, thank you very much, guys. I'm going to stop the, the uh, live stream. Yes, and thank you all very thank much. Thank you, everyone in the live stream, for joining us uh, for this very strange podcast. <laughs> It's been a lot of fun. Of it's been real. All kinds and of all real. kinds of awesome. All kinds of crazy. And hopefully Rainbow will uh, give us a, a, a better interview some other all time. Right. Live long or prosper. <laughs> See you.